Hey guys, Stacy Miles and I'm here with Sway Productions. I hope you're having a good one. It is all Hallow's Eve, October 30th. I hope you have plans for Halloween because if you don't, then you're here with me watching this video. Okay, today... Noah, I need my costume. I'm doing a review here of Michael Myers' mask, the OG 78. I need that. Bring it here. Come on now. Don't shake your head at me. Just bring it here. I'm going to ground you. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's all Hallow's Eve. And if you're with me tonight, I really appreciate it. I have a special review lined up for you. I could not think of a better time than now for me to do the review or my opinion of the original John Carpenter's Halloween, the shape mask that I bought on Amazon by Trick or Treat Studios. So if you're ready, let's get to it. By the way, I will have an affiliate link down below because I like this mask. It isn't something that I just lightly say. I won't put an affiliate link down below for two reasons. They don't sell it anymore or I don't like it. So if you do decide to purchase it, I really appreciate it because it helps the channel out. Thank you. Right off the bat, the mask actually looks pretty decent, especially if you do, in my opinion, the look of the shape. So basically you got, you know, he kind of looks down a little bit in my opinion, Michael looks down. When you look up, it doesn't look as good or especially, and I'm looking, I'm sorry I'm not looking at you guys. I'm looking to see what it looks like in the thing. It doesn't look as good in my opinion, head on. It still works. And with a little bit of a recall or some type of touch up, this mask might be even better. Uh, I'm gonna start out with the obvious, you know, the elephant in the room here. And that is the hair. It is the same thing as the hair, same design, same hair design as the Halloween 2 mask that I have here. It's nowhere near the one I got by the Rob Zombie, the uh, A Swift Creations, but that's a different story. That mask is a custom made mask. This is not. And I will link, you know, my review opinions on the second mask, the 2018, the, obviously the, my favorite, the Rob Zombie. And I'll put all that in the description below as well. But what we have here is uh, a mask that still suffers from the balding in the back. This is by Trick or Treat Studios and it's sculpted by Justin Mabry, Mabry? If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, it does say at the bottom of the barcode that this is the shape. Uh, it has, you know, care instructions on the tag. It has uh, not recommended for children under so many ages, 14, designed in the USA, blah, blah, blah. And this is the Halloween, the night he came home tag on the actual uh, tag itself. Uh, the hair still suffers from the same thing that, like I said, the other ones suffer from. Uh, the hair is thin. It's not cotton. It's not a cotton mess. But at the same time, it's not just, you know, defined like my other one I had done either. Uh, Perhaps that's something I'll get with a Swift creation, uh, Andrew Swift on making an original mask. I don't know. So another thing, I think this will work with styling. Now, when you take the 2018 mask and you take the, uh, the Halloween two mask I have, and obviously this one, it's going to take a little bit of hairspray or something, uh, to style it. But I think, you know, if you give it a chance with styling, because in that 78, you know, it's not as flowing and, and loose as the, uh, the Rob zombies. So, but I do like the mask. I think it's, you know, you can breathe in it. Uh, it. It does fit a tad tighter than the Halloween 2 mask by Trick or Treat Studio, same studio. And uh, so it's, uh, to me, to me, it feels like it's a little smaller than Halloween 2 and obviously a lot smaller than the, uh, the one I bought off Etsy from Andrew Swift. Um, this mask is not as thick. Uh, the pore isn't as thick. Uh, it does come on you can breathe in it easily you do have obviously the eye holes the nose holes you have a mouth hole and the ear hole so hearing is going to be good breathing is going to be a lot better than now it's not going to be the same thing you would expect with you know i'm walking around breathing this is a little bit different because you know you don't have a, a full mouth opening and everything so it's going to be a little restricted however i think you know, the average person won't have a problem overall i like the mask i really you know for the price of this thing you know because i paid a lot more for the, uh, for the one I got off Etsy. But you know, for, for a cheap mask, you know, I think this thing's gonna work. 
I could definitely do a film with this. You know what I'm saying? I definitely could. This has been Stacey Miles Howard with Sway Productions. I hope you had a good one. And if you have big plans for Halloween, let me know below. This is 2020. You know, anything can happen. And a lot of things aren't happening, but, you know, at the same time, things are happening. Does that make sense? So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.